guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in the surf, going for redfish, tarpon, and then if a shark comes around after we get those two, that's what we want. We've cast netted some mullet and we're waiting for an opportunity for the rods to go off. We got one out, we're gonna set three big rods out. No bait rod this time. We're trying to go big fish only. So let's get started right now. Oh, there we go, we're on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go on, tighten up a little bit. That's good, that's good. You on? Yeah. All right, got it. Put your right hand up here gotcha. on that grip yep. and get that rod down there. So you're gonna pump back and feel. There it is. There I felt it. All right. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna get in the other line. That's a run. All right, here we go. We're caught, we think it's a redfish. We haven't seen it yet. Heavy. Yes, it's heavy. I think it. I think I saw a tail. I think I saw a shark. <laughs> I think I saw a shark. <laughs> That's definitely a shark. Yeah. So. Thought it was a redfish, looks like it's a shark. Alright, we'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. All right, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna guess this is a shark. I will be very shocked the way it's acting if it's not a shark. You know, when you start catching five foot sharks and you end up disappointed, you've had a pretty good summer. Especially when you were looking for reds. Yeah, I think he ran at me a lot of that last fight too. I think he was running at me for a lot of that fight. Yeah. That's staying tight, you might have a red. Yeah, I don't know. He hasn't done a whole lot. I don't know, I mean, it's pulling pretty good. Shark. No, dude. Is it? I don't know. I, I, I can't tell. Shark. Lemon. Huh? A lemon. I'm giving you slack. Yeah, nice lemon. I mean, it felt decent size. That's why it was quite more like a ball. There you go. That's the first time I've ever caught one of those. Get it. There you go. Oh, there you go. 
So we got a lemon shark right here. First time I've ever caught a lemon shark. Good size, about four and a half. Yeah. He looked different when he came out of the water. Yeah, that's I saw that second fin and I was yeah. At first, I thought it was a tarpon. I did too. Because I seen it. I saw that and I said, oh no, if that's a baby tarpon, I'll take it. All right, so that's two sharks. Two sharks. No time to set out bait or anything. Both rods going off as soon as we release them. So we've been here like 10 minutes, and that's the action we've already had. We thought I thought maybe that was a tarpon the way the fin came out of the water. So I'm a little bit disappointed. But we're gonna take the shark, but we're still after the bull red, and we're hoping that we can get on something besides sharks. But we're gonna take them. Those are two nice sized sharks. Now it's starting to feel a little bit more. I don't know if it's because he's in the current or. He's out there a ways though. I don't know. It might be a little shark. I think it is. It's a really small shark. I knew he wasn't very big because when I, yeah. I started reeling, it was like, oh man, a little black tip. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, we got one on drone. Not bad. I mean, they're they're getting bigger. The yearling ones, pretty cool. Yeah, I like the black tip sharks. Yeah. All right, fish number three, black tip shark. So three sharks, three different species. We're hoping that we can go ahead and get into some of our target species. These sharks are fun. That's not really what we're looking for. We're hoping that one of these big poles goes off and we can see either a tarpon fin hanging out or we got a rib fish just run and drag. So we're gonna keep fishing. Let's get back to the action. Off the beach, just have to pick the spot. Let me. There you go. Tighten up a little more. All right, reel into him. Reel, 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 reel. Four rod. Oh, or double up. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, I got him. Another shark. Another black tip, I think. Yeah, go ahead. Take a little slack and pipe it. Yeah. Oh, man. He took off on a run, and I don't think I ever got the line back. I don't know. It just kind of popped. It popped? No, nothing popped off of it. I'm saying the hook came out. Oh, okay. I was going to say, holy shit. No, no, no. Nothing popped. I was going to say, that, was, that pop, that's... No. Like, I was reeling, and there was weight, and then there wasn't weight anymore. Yeah. He was running like a shark. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think it was a red. He's behind you. Get out. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what we're doing is we just rotated the pole. So what's happening, the current's coming in this way and it's looping around. And so we're rotating the poles up and through so that way we can keep the weight out without recasting it and we can bring it. So now we move this one here and then we can just keep rotating them. Naturally, the water current's pushing that way really hard right now on the high tide. So that'll give us a chance without recasting to be able to just move poles keep the bait out in the water. We've had actions in really big waves. Like when we get hit, it's boom, boom, boom. And then when it's slow, it's been slow. Now we just caught a small one. We have one cut us off. 
We should have like six or seven fish on the bank. I, I don't know if any of them have been redfish so far. I think they're all sharks. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. We actually had a really hot bite when we first got here, and then we had a really hot bite about an hour after high tide, and then it tapered off. Thank you guys for watching.